have to make good use of the slit, you see. Welcome to Thursday. It is home day today. You know, there's something that our viewers ask us about all the time, and it's how you can get that beautiful gallery wall in your space. Brian Gluckstein is here to show you how to get it done. Brian! Hello there. This is beautiful. It's such a pretty set. It's so it's calming, it's subtle, but it's got great impact because of this wall of art. And you know, you can mix it up, you can put your photography, you can put your best art pieces, but it's all about figuring out the lay of the land. Yes, and this was to do it's something a little something different. Everything we see here is from Hudson's Bay. Nice. And what we did was we took some of our frames and notice that the frames are also we traditionally use black or white frames. Yeah. Here we did the smoky gray wood. So this is a new color. This is based on whole, all that sort of Northern European, yes. Belgian, like the bench here, and that Northern European look, which is a lot of those smoked grays. And instead of doing a grid mm -hmm. on this wall, we did all these different shapes and sizes. Now, if you're gonna do this, before you start making your wall look like Swiss cheese, <laughs> you lay it on, I always lay it on the floor. You have to do You that. have to lay it on the floor. Now, if you really want to do it well, yes. you put a paper on the floor right. and lay it on the paper and outline those things okay. and then tape it on the wall and nail and then pull the paper off and put the images on. That's what I would do. That's what I would do because you don't, that that means you've left no chance for of, you to exactly. get it wrong. You don't want to be putting holes in and it's not this many. No. So, and, and we've got, you know, one thing I can't stand is if someone has a piece like this or this and there's the sofa and that's the only piece on the wall. Like yeah. you can't, it has to be really well done to have a small piece, but usually you cannot do that. So really. I like multiples and what you can do also, you know, if you can't afford this much art, you can print things. We, we bought these from an online site and had them printed for us. Oh, nice. Um, at a printer, so it was very economical to do this. So you can do beautiful images, or like you said, mix up some photography. Sometimes for model homes when we're doing them, I'll even take, I mean, I know it's, people are gonna cringe, but I take books and I cut the pages out yeah. of photography books and I put them in and it looks unbelievable. Oh my gosh, that's actually a really good idea. So here's the thing, all of us have all these digital photos sitting there on our phones. Oh, yeah. Get those printed. And, and it's unbelievable. The quality yes. of images that you can get off of like an iPhone, and you see these billboards all over town, this is this was taken with an iPhone, mm -hmm. are unbelievable. So use your own images and, own and images. do this. But I love sort of this relaxed sort of, and you can see there's different colors. There's grays and, and black Blues. and whites and things like that. And then we painted this wall. Um, it's called Hope New Hope Gray. Nice. But you can see it has a blue cast to it, and, and blue is a big trend right now. You can see from the carpet, we anchored it with this dark blue mm -hmm. so we brought it into some of the art subtly so it's not too matchy you mm -hmm. have other image colors um, but this is a big trend right now the blues so this is one way you can get your gallery wall done yes. uh, Brian has done another way to get it done so let's go take a look This is beautiful. I mean, the beautiful. wall color is really moody, but what's great about it is that the art pops out. Pops. So we did the uh, wall in Benjamin Moore Vintage Wine. Mm. I wanted this poppy color because, again, the grays of the neutral. Everything here is from Hudson's Bay. The art is from Art Interiors, and the artist is Charlene Serdan, and she does these sort of very dreamy um, uh, uh, paintings. Nice. Um, I think it's a, a mixed me. It's a mixed media, but you can see it almost has a waxed feel to you it. You can see it. You can see that there's some texture to it so I chose four of her images that were very similar and um, I felt that you know I wanted a grid I wanted to show everybody a grid but we didn't frame them and I, that's what I liked about these that they're unframed you don't have to I didn't want to define it so much with the frames I just wanted the images really almost to blend into each other yeah but I wanted that pop and the, the darker wall almost emphasizes the space in between them. If the wall was a light color, they'd almost sort of blend together. But um, don't be afraid to use bold colors when you're, I mean, everybody thinks I'm beige. But, <laughs> but don't be afraid of using bold colors when you're hanging your art. And people say, oh, you shouldn't match your paint to your art. Match your paint. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's okay. Pick something out. out, out. 
I like the fact that, I mean, you couldn't see this when we were hanging this in studio, a level was used because trust yes. me, if these are crooked and you're coming into that room every day and there's a crooked piece of art, you'll go insane. Yes. Like just make sure you get them up there. They are straight. What would you say is the one thing we're all doing wrong when it comes to our art? Is it that we're hanging it too high? Too high. We're hanging it too high. And too small. And too small. So I see these big, big walls with a little piece. Go crazy. Go yeah, big. Go crazy. Or do that. Yes. But don't put a little piece on a big wall. And, and, and if you have high low. ceilings, stack them. We've made it super easy to find the pieces Brian showed today. Just go to our website. That's cityline.ca slash shop.